Want to know what a real man would tell their lady about love and life? You're in the right place. This is Hello Ladies with Rom Wills. Rom Wills is an author, speaker, and proud father. Grab some wine, sit back, and enjoy. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Sunday Morning Simulcast with Rom Wills. Your destiny will find you. Your destiny. What you're meant to do on this planet will find you. Now, many people, people have different thoughts about that thing of destiny. Like it's something like people in maybe a new age community will discuss a lot, but it's universal. It's universal. I first heard about destiny, not from some, you know, new age guru or something or somebody reading some tarot cards, but rather from my grandmother who heard it from her father who, who was an African Methodist Episcopal minister. So it's, it's, it's there. And whatever ch- uh, path that you use to follow the divine is there. You're not here just to sit back and chill. Every single person has a destiny. You're born here for something. You had something put in you. Now, see, finding your destiny, that can be, that can be tough if you're going directly looking for it. But I'm going to tell you what, whether you look for it, whether you don't even believe it exists, it'll come find you. (laughs) Your destiny will come find you. I've I've heard many people of different spiritual paths, ministers, priests, shamans, they all say the same thing. It will come find you, whether you like it or not. Now, some people try to hide from it. Some people try to hide from it, but they can't. They can't. I mean, I'll share that in my own life. There was some, I remember when I was a child, my mother told me, oh, yeah, you're you going to be doing this. You're going to be doing great things. You're going to be helping people. Oh, Ron just wanted to drive a bus. She's like, no, if you, even if you try to drive a bus, they're going to see who you are and stop you <laughs> and say, no, you can't drive the bus anymore. You know? And I thought about that because I even think about what I'm doing now. And I'm not, I'm saying this with really a sense of honor. I mean, people have come back to me and say, I've helped them. But I look back at my life and I say, you know what? It was always there for me to do that. And it found me, the story of how I even got to this point, I think I've shared it on other other places, but I won't share it right this second because this ain't about me, but it found me. If I wasn't looking either, but it's going to find you. Everybody got that talent within them. Everybody got that mission within them. Every, you got, every single person got something within you that not only brings you joy, but helps those around you, you know? And it, it don't have to be anything spectacular. It don't mean you have to be some, I don't know, uh, great trial attorney or some doctor. You could be that person. You could be like a, maybe an elder in a neighborhood. And it, it might be like an impoverished neighborhood. But because of your advice and how you carry yourself, you inspiring people to do better. Haven't we all seen that one elder? I don't care where. That's the one elder that could say, hey, this is what you need to do. Or they listen to you or they do something. And you're like, wait a minute. They really helping people. That was their destiny. Everybody has that. Everybody has something to do. But it's a matter of just really just... You know, just being who you're going to be, being authentic to yourself. You don't even have to force it. That's how big it'll come to you. It's going to seem natural to you. Indeed, I would say this. When people will ask me, oh, you know, well, what can I do? Or I don't know what I'm talented at. What do you do that just seems so natural to you? Like, just natural. And you're like, you know, I ain't thinking about it because it's so natural to you. You don't think about it. Meanwhile, why are you even saying that you might be doing the very thing or you might make an observation, not even think about it. That's how it is. I mean, and like I say, it could be anything. You know, you could be that type who can make people laugh. Now, don't laugh. Don't they? Hey, don't downplay that because it's more than just being an entertainer. If you're that type of person, you can make them laugh. You can make them feel good with your presence. Indeed, I've met individuals. They were they could, just in their presence. They could heal people. Just by their presence, they can calm people down. I've seen that. Like, I remember this one young lady. I'll never forget her. I'll never forget her. This was when I was still working in the government. 
and I'm coming out, I'm coming out the office lunchtime. I'm a little agitated. I'm a little agitated. And I'll never forget. She just, she saw me and I was like, hey, how you doing? But still, you know, being nice to her, but I still had that agitation in my voice. And she just said hi softly and just grabbed my hand. Just grabbed my hand. And I'm still, all of a sudden, I'm kind of like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then gradually calmed down. Then I thanked her. But she had that peaceful aura. People who knew the young lady knew she just had that sense of peace whenever, whoever was around her. Like to the point that if anybody had messed with her, there would have been like an army ready to avenge her. But that was part of her destiny. And everybody has that. Everybody has that. It's nothing too small. You know, you could be that type of person who could go out, I don't know, go out in the woods or something and find every natural herb and everything that could be used, which I actually know somebody could do that. He's a gentleman, young. he's a young man. Well, yeah, he's still a young man to me. He he, he could walk out of, in a bit of a patch of grass in the highway and find everything edible, but he's, and he's actually produced herbal uh, remedies for people. But that's part of his destiny. That's part of his destiny. It does. It, it could be. It could be whatever. And it's just a matter of just, just you know what? Just being yourself. Honestly, and when I say be yourself, I mean in a good way. What do you feel intrinsic to you? It'll tell you what you're going to do. And just pay attention. And then even like I said, even in uh, cases that you can't see it yourself. Really sit back and just say what you like to do. I don't care how small it is. I don't. I don't care how it, 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 you, you think it is tiny. It might be some significant stuff. Like I'll use my son for an example. He can very. He's extremely detailed orientated. Extremely. Like I was like, wow. I was like, wow. But there maybe there's something that part of his thing is to do something that requires that attention to detail. You know. I mean, like, for example, if a surgeon, you want that surgeon to be detail orientated. There could be that one small blood vessel that if it's not treated right or organ in a uh, place that if it's not taken care of right, could cause, can extend your life 20 years or could kill you if something happens. So everything. Or it could be somebody who can teach. One thing, and I'll say, I'll say this publicly, teachers should be paid high salaries. Think about it. somebody who has the talent to deal with hundreds, maybe even thousands of students over the years, but inspire them in a great way, the majority of them in a great way. That's a talent. So is is everything. So destiny, destiny, y'all. Then just know is already within you, is there, it will come find you. It will come find you. Because the thing is, if it's a part of you, you're gonna do stuff even unintentionally. Now, you're not thinking about it. It's just something you're doing that's going to bring it out of you. It's there. It's there. All right? So I want you all to think about that, and I want everybody just be open for what supreme being wants for you. Okay? So anyway, I'll talk to you all. Peace and blessings.